In this video, we will talk about Java 8 conceptual and scenario based questions. In our previous video of Java 8 interview questions, we had talked about basic interview questions related to Java 8. So let's start. What are the functional interfaces you have used in your project introduced with Java 8? With Java 8, Functional interfaces like function, consumer, supplier, predicate are introduced. There are more interfaces like this, but mostly function, consumer, supplier and predicate we used in real world. And these functional interfaces are part of java.util.function package. Now sometimes interviewer may ask you the difference between function and predicate or what is consumer or supplier? So, on a high level note, function takes one argument and returns a result. Predicate takes one argument also but returns a boolean. Let's understand the predicate function where it is used. In Java 8, we have written this code. Now, filter is an operations of the stream. We will look forward what is the filter, what kind of operation is the filter. But for now, filter definitions if you see in rt.jar in Java, it is like public abstract java util dot stream stream filter and accepting a predicate argument. So you can see that also predicate is a part of java util dot function. Moving to the next question, what is stream pipelining? Stream is generally chaining of stream operations. Stream operations are either terminal or intermediate operations. We will look at what are those terminal operations and what are those intermediate operations. Intermediate operations return instance of stream. At end, there must be terminal operations to end the chaining. So, on a conceptual note, stream contains terminal operations and intermediate operations. So, if you return an intermediate operation, you can chain another operation because intermediate operation is returning instance of a stream. And at the end of the chaining, there should be a terminal operation also to execute the process. This concept gives a very important feature like stream is lazy. Sometimes interviewer may ask you directly also why stream is lazy. Before understanding why stream is lazy, Let's have a look at what are the terminal operations and what are the intermediate operations. If we talk about intermediate operations and terminal operations, then in intermediate operations we have filter, map, flat map, sorted, distinct, p, limit, and seek. Out of these eight operations, in real world mostly we use filter, map, flat map, and sorted. The frequency of using of these operations, the first four, is very high as comparison to the, the last four. In case of terminal operations, we have forage, collect, match, count, reduce, to array, mean, max, any match, all match, find first, find any, and then match. And if you talk about the real world, the number of frequency of uses, most of them used is for each collect, count, reduce, to array, and match. Let's move to next question. Now, we will understand why we said in the previous part, stream is lazy. Let's suppose you have an entity class containing employee and I am using the Lombok project at the data to generate 
setters getters equals an hash code and two string for this entity class employee. And let's also suppose we have use case to print all employee having age greater than 30. Also, let's suppose you have a list of this employee class. If you use Java 8, it would seem like from the list you can create an stream and using stream functions we have intermediate and terminal operations. The first thing of the UCS is we have age greater than 30. That means we need a filter. So filter employee system net out print an employee return employee dot get age greater than 30 and we have to print all employee so for each employee system net out print an employee don't confuse why i have put the two system dot out dot print ln. the first system dot out dot print ln in the filter i have put to show you why i said the stream is lazy this filter operation is intermediate operation for each operation is terminal operation now let's for a second remove this for each operation and try to execute this part only list.stream.filter in the console you will see that there is no print in the console even we are using system.out.println this is called lazy execution in streams if you use only intermediate operation no process is performed unless you are calling a terminal operation. So this is the reason we call stream is lazy. Now in order to print we have to call any terminal operation. Here we have called for each. So remember that when we say stream is lazy then process will happen only when terminal operation is called. So in between intermediate operation you can add any other intermediate operation from the filter like map, flat map, sorted and then again call any terminal operations like for each, collect, any match, find first, find any. When I say stream is lazy means process is happening only when terminal operation is called does it mean stream is faster than any other mechanism for iteration? So to answer this you can say that performance of a stream depends on how it is used mostly and amount of data sets as compared to iterators and advanced for loop. Moving to the next question. There is employee class having id name age field that we have looked earlier also then how to show all employee details. Let's have an employee class and we have a list containing 10,000 employees. So to answer list.stream.forage employee using lambda expression system.out.println employee. So this will print all the employee of the list. Moving to next question, can you show all employees from the list having age greater than 30 with Java 8? Now there are two parts. First, you have to filter the employee with age and that age should be greater than 30. And after the filter, you have to show the employees. So again, we have employee entity and Let's suppose out of 10,000 employees, there are 3,000 employees greater than 30 age. So we can change this to list.stream filter again using lambda expression employee employee.get age greater than 30 dot for each employee and printing system.out.print as an employee. Instead of lambda expression, like employee employee dot get age you can also use method reference here employee class method reference get age moving to next question
I need to count all employees from the list having age greater than 30. In earlier question, we are printing all employees having age greater than 30. Here, we need the count of the employees having age greater than 30. Let's again, we have employee entity class and 3000 employees out of 10,000 are greater than age 30. List dot string filter because we need to filter the employees having age greater than 30 and then use count terminal operation to count the employees having age greater than 30. So this will return you an value. Moving to next question. I need to group all employees from the list with similar names and age greater than 30. Again, let's suppose we have employee entity class and 3000 employees are of same name and 7000 employees are of other same name out of the 10,000 employees we have taken. So, list.stream filter because we need to filter with the age greater than 30 and then collect. We are using a terminal operation here and using collectors.grouping by we are collecting from the name. So you can see the chaining operations is done here. Filter then collect. And you can also see how important is the lambda expression. How in a single line my simple use case like this is doing on. Moving to next question. Now I need to count all employees from the list having similar names and age greater than 30. Here we just have added one thing from the previous question. Number of count of the employees having similar name and age greater than 30. We would have employee entity class and 3000 employees are of same name. 7000 are of same name out of 10,000. So we can say here list dot stream filter to filter the employee having age greater than 30 then collect because we need to group employees so in collect we can use collectors dot grouping by now if you see inside grouping by i am first grouping the employee having similar names and then again inside grouping by only using collectors dot counting to return the count of employees having similar names. Moving to next question. How would you convert object of type iterable to stream? Let's suppose for example, I have a list of strings. So you can see, so instead of list string iterable, I have created iterable string iterable equal to array as list. And we can use stream support dot stream iterable dot split iterator false to return a sequential stream out of iterable. Now this false is used when we want to return sequential stream. So instead of false, if you make it as true, you will return a parallel stream. Now, to answer the question, we can use stream support dot stream iterable dot split iterator false. Now, this will return a sequential stream and then you can iterate on stream as normal we do using for each employee lambda expression system dot out dot print and then employee. This was all about the interview questions for this video. We had talked about a few important concepts like stream pipelining, terminal operations and intermediate operations and why stream is lazy. Subscribe, stay notified for more upcoming Spring Boot Microservice Cloud Java interview questions videos and also please provide how you like the video either through commenting or liking the hit button 